today I'm going to show you how to make a little origami bird just like this one I've made with some pattern paper. If this is your first time doing origami, it will still be fine because I'll go through nice simple instructions and you can follow along. So all we're going to need is a squared piece of paper. It can be patterned. If you've got origami paper, that's really good. Or if you've just got a piece of white paper, then just cut out a square. You could ask an adult to do this because it needs to be a perfect square. Okay, so first put your paper face cut down, colour side down like this, and we'll start. So for put it in a diamond shape, so like this, and fold it from left to right. Also, if this is your first time doing origami, when you're doing this, make sure it's all neat before you crease it properly. So, I'm using this. And you make this as sharp as you can, so you can use your nail to go across it like this. And it should be only a tiny bit fatter than a normal piece of A4 paper. Okay, so unfold that after you make sure it's all creased and you'll see a line along your piece of paper. And then fold it from up to down and make sure it's all straight. And properly creased. You could turn it because for me it's easy to crease this way because it won't make a difference. Because if you open it, you'll still have the same pattern even if you turned it around and you saw. Okay, next, turn it over so it's rank side down and colour side up like that you could still see the creases but it may be harder to see them if you've got a piece of patent paper so next we need to do is you'll do the same from left to right but with it as a square instead of a diamond So you could pick it up if you want to, uh, if that's easier, I find it easier. And just make sure it's all sharp and crease. And put it back down and then top to bottom again. Crease it. That gets a bit white. And then do this one again. Okay, it's like that. It, it's easier to see the lines on here, and it. So you should have some on top, some dia two diagonal lines going like this, and two straight lines. So now um, I need to. So we get this is the hardest part. You're going to you you've got lots of flaps. These two are going in, and these two are going out. So you'll have this one, and you'll fold it in like that with this bit so open, not creased 
and you'll fold along this line here back out so it's got this bit in the middle and you can give it a bit of a crease and then on, do it on the other side as well put that diamond shape in crease fold in half crease if you can through the middle and then you can just flatten this bit on top so you should have a much smaller diamond like this if it's a square shape it doesn't matter just turn it around and make sure this point where all of them are coming off from is at the top and this bit is at the bottom okay and then it doesn't matter if it flips up like mine See, it just comes up. That doesn't matter, it's sort of what it's supposed to do. And then you're gonna fold, you're gonna quite fold these in, so you just fold it like this. Just the top layer though, not this bit, because we'll do that on the back. And then on the other side as well. is quite hard to do it doesn't matter if you've got a white part along here and you creased it and then you're gonna fold this top bit as it's all one layer you can't just fold one bit layer down you're just gonna fold it all down like that so it should I'll show you up close, it should look something in the lines of this and then what you're going to do is you're going to unfold all those flaps so it was, it's just like it was at the beginning but you'll see you've got three more lines across there okay so this bit's hard as well, not as hard as that last part though you're going to hold this in between your fingers and you're going to pull it straight up so it's sort of across this line it didn't so it's sort of it's going straight up from this line there and then you're going to you're going to bring it up as much as you can without ripping the paper and fold in these parts all the way to the top and then on the other side as well fold it in all the way to the top okay you might need to practice doing that a couple of times because it's very hard without with doing that without ripping the paper it didn't matter if you ripped a tiny bit though you can carry on or you can just start again okay so we're going to do the same as we just did on this side so we remember we fold these parts in and this part down Unfold them all again and bring this part up just like you did last time. Pull it up to about there, crease, and then fold. Okay, so you should have a shape like this. And then if you look in that way, you've got this bit in the last clip. So, next you're going to, you turn it like this and hold it in your hand. And you've got two, you see you've got two little flaps here. 
like this and you're going to just fold them so you've got a flat kite shape here and then turn it around and do the same here so fold it so it's a nice kite shape and so crease it as well push it down make sure these bits are all straight and creased okay so it should look like that now so a kite with two sort of triangle bits and both those bit parts and here you're going to open up this part and bring it up to about maybe a bit lower up to about there i'd say make sure it's all straight though like that so you've got a, you can see a little bit here nothing's covering up then turn it over and fold it try and fold it along the same part as that so if you look at the bottom they're both sort of the same height and then you're going to fold these two back out like that and you're going to pull out this part okay make sure it's all straight one has a little bump at the end but that doesn't matter because we can change that later it's very normal to have little bumps at the end though okay so make sure it's all folded properly and try and pull it out the same amount as this part so if you see here the more you pull it out the more that this bit will become higher or deeper than the other part so try and line up line it up around the same part just like that okay so you've got a nice hill underneath so the top of a triangle so if you want you can what I might do is I might bring one of them out a slight bit more and this is I'm choose your best one your best little flap and that can be your head so um this is my best part so I'm gonna make this into my head by just folding that like that so you've got a little quite shape and fold it in and then you can bring it out a bit like that you've got a little head and this one you don't have to do this but i'm going to curve my tail a bit so it doesn't look very messy anymore and you can twiddle it a bit so it's all sharp and then if you want, I didn't do it with this one, I only did it a tiny bit, but if you lay it down like that, then you can grab both these tips, I'm going to do one at a time, and then you can fold it, well not fold it, but just, well maybe it's easy to just roll it up, so if you just slightly roll it up, try and do it without creasing any parts of the paper, up and it will have like a curve on it. do this as much as you want okay and then yeah i'm gonna do the other side as well like that okay now it's done but there's lots of ways i can show you that you can change it well if you want it to stand up first um you can fold these a tiny weeny part of these triangles 
So you've got two little triangles there, like that, and then on that foot as well. Just fold it down a tiny weeny part, and then if you put it down, it should be able to stand up. You can put the head up a bit and the tail up if you want, like that. But it might all already be able to stand up without doing that but you can if it doesn't then you can do that and then if you want the tail to be different as well if you don't want to curve it you can just leave it straight or you can point it you can put it down a bit more so you can slide it slide it slide it slide it down to about there and then you can, if you, do, if you don't like it just like that, you can leave it if you like it like that, I think it looks quite nice, but you could fold the tail down, and then up, and then down again, so the tail's a bit like that, okay, so I'm going to leave my tail like this. I might curve it just a little bit so you can use lots of stuff. Find out other ways to make your bird different if you want, and that's the end. I try and memorize this, and then you can do it other times without instructions.